Good morning, students. Today we are starting our topic with another apparatus that is calorie meter, calorimetry. Uh, it is uh, more or less similar to the photometer that we have learned in the last class. And the principle of calorimetry is exactly similar to photometry. What is the principle of photometry? It works on Beer's Lambert's law. Likewise, calorimetry also works on the principle Beer Lambert's law. What is Beer Lambert's law? Let me know. Anybody remembering what is the, uh, what is that law says? Beer's law says that uh, the absorbance depends upon the concentration of solution. Lambert's law says that absorbance depends upon the length of the path of light. Right? Okay. Then. Uh, what is calorimeter? Calorimeter is a device. Device it measures. It measures what uh, the absorbance of a particular wavelength. This is the important thing. Here we are the considering the absorption power of a solute present in a solution with regard to only a particular wavelength. And also that solution to be colored. Only colored solution can be used in calorimeter. Uh, that's the thing. Then we are going to see the parts of the calorimeter. First of all, which are the important points? One point is it measures the absorption ability of the solute component present in the solution with regard to a particular wavelength and that solution should be color. For photometry that condition is not existing. That colored solution should be there. It's not existing there. But in uh, colorimetry as the name implies it means the solution that we uh, need to detect is concentration should be colored. Then parts, one light source is there. Light source should be there for emitting the light, visible light. Uh, in a normal calorimetry, there is a, 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 we normally use a low voltage filament lamp. But uh, in modern advanced calorimeters, these filament lamps are replaced by diodes. Diodes are two terminal electronic components with a positive and negative ends, which conducts a current only in one direction. So, in modern calorimeters, this voltage filament lamp is replaced by diodes. Then filters are there. Filters are, uh, means um, they, are, uh, they are present in calorimeter uh, mainly for selecting uh, for um, selecting particular, particular wavelength of light to pass through that solution. And uh, that selection mainly depends on uh, what wavelength that solute can absorb more? If you are passing a, um, a wavelength that the solute particle cannot absorb much, it is of no use. The main thing you have to pass such a wavelength of light that, is, that, that can be absorbed by the solute much more. Only then we will get in a very accurate result. And uh, using that result, we can understand the concentration of that solution. So, that's the thing. So, filters are used for selecting the wavelength suitable for that solution. For that, optic filters are used to select the wavelength of light. And uh, uh, the wavelengths are selected usually within the range of 400 to 700 nanometer. It's in the visible uh, light spectrum. So within this range, uh, using the filters, the calorimeter in the calorimeter, we are selecting a suitable wavelength appropriate for the uh, solute particles present in the solution to understand the maximum ability of that solute to absorb that particular wavelength. And based on that absorption power of that solute, we are going to understand, we are going to detect the concentration of that unknown solution. Next slide. A cuvet is there. A cuvet is a glass tube in which we are um, um, keeping the solution that to be detected. 
then a detector is there detector usually photo resistor photo resistor means it 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 has a photo contact it has photo contacting ability and uh, whenever light uh, tra transmitted light is actually falling on the detector um that means the first we are passing a light from the from the light source to the through the solution that is contained in the quid and as it passes through the solution certain amount is absorbed certain amount of wavelength is absorbed and the remaining is conducted out that is called a transmitted light that transmitted light is detected by the detector a detector is usually a photoresistor a photoresistor can conduct that exact amount of transmitted light to the display unit as a, um, a, a reading we, we got a value and that display is uh, made on a digital meter um, and we got we, we can record that reading some, uh, sometimes in a chart or uh, we can uh, record that reading in a computer and one more thing uh, before we are uh, understanding we are going to find the concentration of a solution uh, we uh, usually uh, uh, prepare and calculate the concentration concentration of so many standards standards means its values are ranging between 0 and 100 so many standards are prepared before going to understand before going to detect the concentration of unknown sample so already we have a set of values set of known values and after having a that set of known values we are going to find the concentration of unknown for that in the calorimeter we are putting that unknown sample and passing uh, a suitable wavelength of light through that solution as that wavelength of light passing through that solution a uh, certain amount of wavelength is absorbed and the remaining part is transmitted out and that uh, amount is recorded as a value and then using that value we can compare that value with a known set of standard values also so this is the procedure as a calorie meter next we can uh, go and see a video about the calorie meter a colorimeter is a device used in colorimetry the word generally refers to the device that measures the absorbance of particular wavelengths of light by a specific solution okay then colorimeter is very clear for you a uh, device used in colorimetry and as the word uh, generally refers, uh, refers it is a device that measures the amount uh, measures the absorbance of particular wavelength of light by a specific solution and it uh, um, works mainly depending on the ba lambert's law this device is commonly used to determine the concentration of a known solute in a given solution by the application of the beer lambert law which states that the concentration of a solute is proportional to the absorbance the essential parts of a colorimeter are these are the different parts of the colorimeter this is the uh, picture of a colorimeter are 1 light source often an ordinary low voltage filament lamp 2 adjustable aperture 3 a set of colored filters. filters 4. A cuvette to hold the working solution. 5. A detector to measure the transmitted light. 6. A meter to display the output from the detector. In a colorimeter, a beam of light with a specific wavelength. Here we are going to see different parts and it's working. Is passed through a solution via a series of lenses, which navigate the colored light to the measuring device. This analyzes the color compared to an existing standard. A microprocessor then calculates the absorbance or percent transmittance. If the concentration of the solution is greater, more light will be absorbed, which can be identified. If the concentration of the solution, uh, solution is high, more light will be absorbed. Light means the light that is falling on the solution. And uh, the rest of the light will be passed to the detector and correspondingly a reading will be uh, obtained. And by measuring the difference between the amount of light at its origin and that after passing the solution. 
To determine the concentration of an unknown sample, several sample solutions of a known huh. This is it was telling for detecting uh, the concentration of unknown sample, several standards have to be prepared before that. Concentration are first prepared and tested. The concentrations are then plotted on a graph against absorbance, thereby generating a calibration curve. The results of the unknown sample are compared to that of the known sample on the curve to measure the concentration. Changeable optics filters. So the filters. By adjusting the filter, we can select which color need to pass through that solution. Are used in the colorimeter to select the wavelength which the solute absorbs the most, in order to maximize accuracy. The usual wavelength range is from 400 to 700 nanometers. Modern colorimeters, the filament lamp, and filters, may be replaced by several light emitting diodes of different colors. The output from a colorimeter may be displayed by an analog or digital meter and may be shown as transmittance, a linear scale from 0 to 100%, or as absorbance, a logarithmic scale from 0 to infinity. Value ranges between 0 and 100. The useful range of the absorbance scale is from 0 to 2, but it is desirable to keep within the range 0 to 1 because above 1 the results become unreliable due to scattering of light. The Beer Lambert Law or Beer's Law. There is here explaining about the Beer's Lambert's Law that we already know. So that's enough. So with this, we can finish today's section. Thank you.